Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Baldur's Gate 3. In the last episode we did our most heroic thing possible and uh, saved a bunch of dogs from a bad dog owner. Um, now that we've done that we've basically beaten the game but I guess we'll just we'll, we'll kind of see what else the game has to offer I guess. Starting with Wolbrun. Um, so let's go and talk to Wolbrun. Think he's in here? There he is. Rune? Oh, that is a big bomb. What is he planning on doing with this thing? And where's Barkus? We need to talk to Barkus Good to too. See you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Regretting it yet? I spent a lot of time thinking of worst case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at Moonrise. I didn't imagine anything as bad as this. The Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. And the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant. Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers, and you. I hope. Gortash is a dead man. I have reasons of my own for taking him down. As long as our objective is the same, the reason doesn't matter to me. We have a common enemy. But neither of us gets what we want until we deal with our biggest obstacle. The Steel Watch. They're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized, servants of the people, but they only serve one man. When he becomes Grand Duke, it will only get worse. Laws will change. Freedoms will vanish, and soon you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime. And the fucking Gondians are to blame for all of it. Dude is pissed. Why put the blame on the Gondians? They invented the Steel Watchers, and they're building an army of them. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. They would have licked Saravok's boots, given the chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while this city screams. I had a plan to put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the Watchers are on us like flies on shit. What was the plan? Same as it always is. Eliminate the threat. In this case, the foundry where these atrocities are produced. The Gondians are ingenious, but we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. I've built something unique for just that purpose. A room powder bomb. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility and boom. Problem solved. Wolbrin, please. He's here. This is too far. Everyone in the foundry would be killed. Quiet, Barkus. The adults are talking. Dude, I respect Barkus way more than you, Wolbrun. Those metal monsters spit in, the, in nature's face, but mass murder is, is a bit far. It's liberation. The Gondians picked their side the minute they took orders from Gortash. If they had any courage, they'd have refused him and died like heroes, spitting in his face. Now they'll die like the dogs they are. Gortash is the enemy, not the Gondians. I'll find another way. There is no other way. But I believe in second chances. Did Will when disagree? You come crawling back here, and you will. We can talk. I didn't see what the other one said. Keeping your hands clean. Did Will approve or disapprove? That one came and went so fast I didn't even get to see. So, are you with me? Ready to take down the steel watch. I'm 
I'm running out of patience, friend. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably find a way to take down the still watch, but not his way. So we'll probably go with that option, but, um... Okay, Barkus is still in here. Let's talk to him. Maybe he has an alternate uh, route he wants to go. A rune powder bomb? Huh. What the devil has he become? It's a radical plan. I want nothing to do with it. If only Waldron shared your sentiments. The Gondians are inventors. Just like us. Similarly persnickety and self-important, too. Something is wrong. Very wrong. You did well refusing Wilbrin's proposition, but I fear he'll find some fool who'll plant his bomb. The Gondians deserve a chance to plead their case before being blown to pieces. Please, find out what's going on. All right, I'll speak to them. That's all I ask. Questions first, violence later. And only if absolutely necessary. Yeah, man, it actually pisses me off how poorly Wolverine treats Barkus. Especially after everything that we saw Barkus do for him. Whoops, I didn't realize that was going to be stealing. We good, bro? He doesn't seem to care. <laughs> That's good. Locked, but there's no keyhole. Must be a switch or something nearby. Hmm, I wonder if I have to do it from the other side? Not for communal use, it seems. Best show some respect. Or some more cunning. I just moved it. Goodness. Relax. Oh, there's a lever right there. <laughs> well then. Okay, we came up right next to Arthur's mansion. Find the missing letters. Investigate the open hand temple roof. Okay. Man, this area is so thick. There's shit to look at everywhere I go. It's been almost 15 years since I bought this forge from Old Kasoon. And in that time, I thought I'd seen everything, but I was wrong. The scimitar that Rivington Rat brought in yesterday is the third weapon made of infernal iron I purchased in the last month. The only infernal weapons I've uh, seen since I've been here. Of course, I sold them all pronto, probably getting less than I might have if I was willing to sit on them for a while, but that's something I am not willing to do. Mama Anglaren didn't raise any fools, but still, I have to wonder, where are these diabolic weapons coming from? Is it our boy Damon? We do need to find Damon, wherever he's at in the city. Welcome, adventurer. I take it you're new to Rivington. No doubt you came here to choose from my fine selection of weapons. Yes, I definitely going to take a look. All. Clubs, swords, maces, bows, cutting and gutting galore. Why don't we see if we can find the perfect weapon for you? How will you know my perfect weapon? I provide a personalized service for my customers to make sure the weapon I choose is the perfect fit. Tell me, how do you like to kill? Let's see. I like to see fear in their eyes. Let's see. We can go with the druid option. I kill without cruelty or malice, only to preserve the natural order. I see. 
Playing to your strengths. Keeping things simple. And when you kill someone, what do you feel? This guy's strange. I feel at peace. Life, death, they are part of nature cycle. Killing holds no fear for you, does it? You understand what it takes and what it gives. One more question, if you'll humor me. Do you think you could turn your weapon on those closest to you? I would never kill someone that I cared about. You'll do so much worse by the time I'm done with you. Oh, it's her again. God damn you. Oh, still rolling in the muck, I see. Gortash knows you are coming. Knows you have the Bone Lord Stone. Do not let him hiss hot air into your worm-weakened brain. Great. You'll find your weaknesses. Stick a knife in the cracks and prize you apart. Unless you get him first. <laughs> Remember, his throat spits lies, but my blade carves the truth. You will read it on your skin soon enough. God damn, She's dude. She's toying with me. What does she want? I'm gonna have to start suspecting everybody. Where are you? Oh, all right, here's the real one. You! Try attacking me when my back isn't turned, you bloody coward. That's not what happened. What in the nine hells are you talking about? Now you're acting innocent, are you? After you near cave me bloody skull in, I'm gonna knock that smirk right off your face. Oh dear. <laughs> She's this girl's trying to get us in trouble. Serious head injury, medicine check. Let's go. Let's go persuasion. Oh, are we still concentrating on Eagle's Splendor? You had a blow to the head. Are you sure you're remembering correctly? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, and then if we do that, we can add that as well. <laughs> what the hell, man? We still almost made it. We were one short. A liar and a thug. It's time someone beat some bloody respect into you. Oh, no. He might have been somebody we could sell to. All right, let's go non-lethal. And just remember, we have to make sure that it's melee that finishes him. I don't know if that force damage is going to be a problem. This is my time. You do a little bit of psychic. I think everybody has a little bit of some element, but I think because it's melee. Poor guy. That's mine. <laughs> we won't take anything else. I'm exhausted. Better find somewhere to camp soon. Hi! Welcome to the Rivington General. Uh, browse carefully. The weapons are sharp. You know, we haven't seen a lot of NPCs that are dragonborn, have we? Hi! Want a blade? Or a bow? Or a dagger? She looks great. Or maybe a spear is more your thing? You look like you know how to use a spear. By spear. What'd you say? Huh?
Are you the one that sells the Smith's weapons? Yep, that's me. <laughs> Grumpy fella, isn't he? On the outside, but he's a softy at heart, like molten steel. Also, he's a living legend. Yeah, I just knocked him the you fuck know out. Best Smith in Rivington, seven years in a row. And, and he says that if I move enough stock, I might even get to have a go on the anvil. Show me what you've got before we tell you about your boss. Oh, yay! Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The shield shrouds the wear with force conduit at the start of its turn in combat. If the entity takes damage while it has five or more turns remaining, it deals one to four force damage in a six meter radius. Fifteen temporary hit points whenever you rage. Okay. What are you wearing right now? What do we have on you? While raging, the wearer generates two turns of wrath and constitution gets a plus two. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. And this one gives 15 temporary hit points whenever you rage and reduces all incoming damage by two. When the wearer is struck by a melee attack, the attacker takes three piercing damage. Yeah, we're gonna have to try it out. Damn, it's expensive. Um, the Dancing Breeze. It's a glaive. She's got so many options. We're not giving her <laughs> we're not giving her anything else. She's got like three good weapons right now in her inventory. You gain a plus one bonus to initiative. Um, your sneak attack deals an additional one to four force damage. Okay, that one's for Asterion. Heavy armor. Medium. Light armor. No, it's basically the same. Elven chain. You were considered proficient with this armor while wearing it. The wearer has a plus two bonus to initiative rules and advantage on dexterity saving throws. So anybody can wear this. It's a 14. Hmm. It's a better initiative roll. Plus two bonus, an advantage on deck saving throws. I mean, technically that is an upgrade for him. Not by much, but... Okay, that's probably all we need. Want more? Want less? Wanna sell? Wanna buy? You know where I am. Bye! Alright, she's great. <laughs> Back again! I don't know how to pronounce your name, but you're great. Or a bow? Need more arrows? Ex uh, need a spear? Ex -vicap. Oh, we can't even tell her now about her boss. Well, that's lame. Oh, yay! 
I'm never gonna tell her to tone it down. Want more? Everybody should be happy. And she seems very happy. With the people. Okay, this will probably look pretty cool on you too. All right, it doesn't look as cool as I thought it was gonna look. <laughs> Maybe when we die, it, it'll look more interesting. Okay, <laughs> so you're con. Plus two to con is pretty damn good. Maybe I shouldn't have bought this. So health goes from 90 from 105 to 95. So she's losing 10 HP from that. And some con bonuses. Maybe we'll try this for a minute and we can always switch it back, but. Ha! Or maybe if you look like you know how to use a spear. By spear. Oh, yay! Want more? Is that blood? Like a freaking blood trail going down here. I'm not seeing any apparent reason for us to be up here. Doesn't mean there isn't one that might pop up later, but... Oh my goodness, there's so much! There's so much! So, where is that where the blood starts? I don't see it going in here. I don't see it continuing this way. And it keeps going this way. Oh dear. Okay, where am I right now? Circumstances employ sword course couriers. Their service is appalling. Forgive me, but I must attend to my friend. She's most upset about the post. Do me a favor, box my ears in. I can't listen to any more whining about missing letters. I'm not scared of the authorities, but it would be stupid to pick a fight with the fist, right? What to do? Do it. Seems like a good moment to talk. Ever wanted to meet the most cowardly dragonborn in the realms? I fell for the blockhead. Ouch. Well, they're breaking up. 
real soon. <laughs> Can't talk just now, sorry. Let me have a little peace and quiet, won't you? My bad, bro. So it's uh, coming from somewhere over there. So Baldur's Gate proper, it seems like. Hmm. That's curious. What did you see? Curse okay. <laughs> Sometimes I do wish that there was an option to turn on, like, move camera to location of things that you saw. Because half the time I'm like, where is it? Cool. Okay, so the blood kind of ends here, it looks like. I'm scared of going in here to find out if there's a body in here or something. Where am I now? Looks like we might be going underground again. Okay, windmill basement. That's a mind flayer. Brain starved and sleeping. The creature's ability scores are reduced by 10 while racked with a ravening hunger for brain matter. So he's gonna... Either he's starving himself because he doesn't want to eat other people's brains, or he's going to attack us hard because he's so hungry. And I don't know which it's gonna be. <laughs> What's in here? This is a notice demanding that the miller pay off his debt lest his creditor oust him and claim the mill for themselves. A lot of final warnings going around. I have something to ask. Before you lies the unconscious body of a mind flayer, glistening and raw. A newborn. Unattended. How fortunate. It doesn't feel fortunate. Oh, but it is. This one has only just transformed. It is weak, vulnerable, its potential ripe for harvesting. Go on, kill it. Absorb its power. Just like you did before. Let's wake him. Come no closer, you. You. What are you? What am I sensing? You are like me. Like I was. A vessel yet to transform. Help me. I am so hungry. Was it you I heard screaming when I entered the windmill? My vessel. He fought the transformation. He found it excoriating. I can still taste his terror. It is delicious, but will not sustain me. We need to feed. We need a brain fresh and frantic to restore our strength.
Yeah, we can't let him. I will not let you feed on anything in this city. Very well, kin. I shall dine on you. Yeah, go ahead and try it with your minus tens, bro. Moving. No, this is not non-lethal. <laughs> that all favors the fearless. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Absorb its potential if you consume it. Ring of Truthfulness. You gain an advantage on insight checks. Absolute Orders Newborn. True Soul Alien, your time has come, the Absolute calls to all faithful, and you've been faithful indeed. Leave your barracks, leave your armor, leave all insignia of rank behind. You are part of the Flaming Fist no longer. You've been a loyal true soul, but soon, you'll be so much more. You'll be one of us. I'm not taking it. In fact, I kind of want to see. Like, even Asterion doesn't want to do this um, next step of the uh, process. So can I... Instead of actually using this, can I destroy it? There was an option before to step on it. Life pulses from within. The parasite's thoughts whisper at the edge of your mind. It wants to share itself with you. It wants to be let in. Go on. Don't be afraid. It only wants to help you evolve. Okay. Drop it on the ground and crush it. My guess is that we're gonna have to make some kind of saving throw. Wait! Remember, it has enough vitality to nourish you and your allies. Commune with it. You'll see, it only wants to help you. Ignore, proceed to stomp on the tadpole. Disappointing. You have lowered our chances of success with your actions. I also no longer have something that's going to throw saving throws at me throughout the game as you try and tempt me to take it. <laughs> We made our choice. Let's hope it doesn't bite us. Have to keep going. I don't think we're going to use any more of these either. Something good here, I hope. Okay. Fresh new drinks, I wonder. I think 
it's been freshened enough times as it is. Well, damn. You can do it. Come on. Spotted something. What? What did you spot? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Arrow of acid. Got it. For a dull moment. Okay, this is that first mansion we were in. Yep, that's Arthur's. Can't slow down. is on our doorstep. You want to live? Get out of here before it's too late. Mummy keeps talking about some army, but she won't tell me anything about it. I'm not a baby. Yeah, close enough to it. Very well. Would everyone please stop going on about the Absolute's army? Lord Gortash is going to sort it all out. You'll see. Okay, this is the dog kennels. But you heard Boulder's Gate was safe, right? Well, it's a bloody lie. They've banned refugees from the city as if we're the problem. If you're looking to enter the city, hope your pockets are loaded. Bastards are charging a fortune. For what? You didn't even fight back. You can't get in trouble for <gasps> trep... for tress... for sneaking these... into places as a kid, right? Just wondering. Oh, that looked like... Didn't... doesn't Donnie kind of look like him? The mummy, the dryad, the ginny. I thought everything. it was one of ours. So don't even think from the about refugee camp. Stop us. But it wasn't. Okay, keeping my directions in order here is going to be difficult. I ain't looking to make friends or enemies. Go bother someone else. You look like you need to clean off the road, Dad. <laughs> Almost as much as I do. No good ends with hot water and a tub on this side of the crossing, though. If you are in the market for potions, I highly recommend the Velveteen Elixir. I've not been this well stocked since Waterdeep. If you're after a job, Neverwinter is on the lookout for adventurers. That's where we're headed. Ooh, Neverwinter coming up, huh? What's the rush, Zog? You Can't we stay here for a bit? With the absolute army. It's a racket, is what it is. All right, so we're heading. No, 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 wait. Let's continue that way, because that kind of. Zog said to leave, so we're leaving. End of story. Hey, are you being a Let's dick? Stick to the refugee camp outsider, where you belong. This guy's over here being a dick. Oh, you're not gonna let me do anything about it? There's a kid involved, bro. Great, another bloody outsider. You lot are coming out of the walls, aren't you? Oh, you're both. I thought he was talking to a refugee. But no. Nope. I'm not supposed to talk to outsiders. They all suck. Okay. I could. I won't. But I could. Oh. 
Hi, Benji. You mother of kill me. I should arrest you all for gross negligence. He wants to teach the refugees a lesson, right? Is this the circus? Of cheese. Between his piggy toes! How <laughs> dare you! <laughs> what in the hell is all of this? A necessity, good sir. The Steel Watch loves pretending sweet Rivington doesn't exist. So we have decided to protect you, dear patrons. <laughs> no need to thank us. You'll be allowed in once I've done this batch. Next! Hello, hello, and welcome to the Circus of the Last Days. The finest extra planar circus there is. A circus! Can we go? She is so sweet. Why is a ghoul sniffing people? Oh, uh, this is Benjamin. Say hi, Benji. Me! Benji here checks all our patrons to make sure none of you are vicious murderers. <laughs> Can't be too careful. But enough of this. The circus is a place of joy and distraction, so uh, come inside and forget your worries. Man, Benji's over here making all of us Bens look bad. I don't associate with Benji. Um, alright. I'd like to enter the circus. Not a problem, dear patron. Benji just has to check if you're a vicious murderer. Benji? Has recovered in blood. Ah! <laughs> Green juice smells like piss and iron! No light. Oh, that's a first. Usually I'd allow you in, but in these times, I can take no chances. Move along. No circus for you. <laughs> okay. Yep, I mean, we've got that advantage while we have this on, so... Let's make the most out of that spell slot we had to spend for it. I'm not a threat to you or anyone else in the circus. I swear it. It's probably not even true. If I'm not a sucker for big eyes and a heartfelt plea. Very well. Welcome to the circus of the last days. Have fun and what be a sure name. to catch the star of our show, Dribbles the Clown. Are you just fucking shapeshifter? She'll try to break our best asset, our trust. Fortunately, she's no match for our second best asset, me. That's true. That's absolutely true. Um, but do you have anything to say about the circus? What's on your mind? No? Okay, that's fine. Maybe once we go in. What's that monster? Orin's little display was just intended to rattle us. We mustn't let her succeed. We need to stay alert all the same. Of course. May I have another kiss, please? Well, don't stand in ceremony. Come here. I'm gonna do this every damn day. I'm gonna do it every damn day, and you can't stop me. Do you think Dribble... Did you see that bloody ghoul at the entrance? Sniffing us of all things. What kind of circus is this? Please, go ahead of us. My son is a little nervous. Yeah, probably because of the fucking ghoul. I want to see Dribbles, but I don't like the monster at the door. Nobody does, kid. Nobody does. Okay, so this is where we started. Alright. So the open hand temple and the circus. And then this way is Baldur's Gate. Worms Rock Fortress is somewhere up there. And then Voss. And honestly, I don't know what we're gonna do about Voss at this point because um, we have since found out where Orpheus is. And he's, if he finds out about that, we're gonna be in big trouble with him too. Remind them that this is our city. And we don't take kindly to parasites. 
Okay, let's just make sure that we kind of check out this side of things, because we kind of went that direction. So is there anything else over here we need to look at? Not particularly. Lots of places for you to go up on the roofs. I wonder if that's just for, like, sneaking around and jumping around on the rooftops and shit. Sorry. You have red caps working in your circus. Just a matter of cost. Keep a sharp eye out. Red caps are on the loose. One's deemed too violent to work. Uh-oh. And not one of these circus folks seem bothered by it. Don't they... Can't they use illusion magic, too? So... <laughs> All this kerfuffle over missing red caps. Yes, we'd caged them due to unruly behavior, but as our red cap cleaners demonstrate, most are perfectly harmless. Dude, this circus is bad news. What How many red caps are missing? Hmm? More than a handful. Right yeah. Less than if I hire the refugees, then I get cheap labor and they get coin. It's a good deal for everyone. If my friend tries to get you to invest, kindly turn her down. She doesn't need the encouragement. All right. You got that, Solrus. How many red caps are missing? I just told you. Six. Okay. Let's go into the Circus of Nightmares. Ooh, a circus! How I love the raucous reverie, the goofs, and the guffaws! A disguise kit. Zara the Mummy. Let's see, let's use Insight, try to interpret her hand movements. You realize she is miming putting on face paints. She has them to sell. I'd like to see your face paints. <laughs> a face painting kit. A disguise kit. We don't really need disguise kits, I don't think. Like, if we need somebody to disguise, we've got two people who can do it now. Asterion and Shadowheart, so... Oh, no. Okay, I was wondering... Yep, yeah, I've seen it on... I've seen it on Twitter. People have been putting this face paint on Hysterion. Oh, no. How... how do we get rid of it? How... how do we get rid of it? Shadowheart, help me out, please. <laughs> didn't work. Oh no. I don't know. I don't know how to get rid of it. Still alive, so that's progress. Oh dear. Oh dear. Did we save before or after putting the face makeup on? Pretty sure it's before. I wouldn't have done it after, right? Alright, here's what I'm imagining. I put that face makeup on. 
we've gone further with Shadowheart than we've ever gone. I go to sleep tonight, and finally, tonight would be the night when I have this face makeup on that she would choose to bone me down, to slam me down big style. And I cannot be wearing that face paint when that happens. Enjoying the show? Then you're going to love Dribbles! He's about to perform on stage. Was well, that the backstage area? No! How about... yes? No! Off limits! Leave! Now! Bugger! Off! Bugger! Off! <laughs> Fair enough. Very well. Zethino? What, some kind of druid show over here? This city of stone and steel is an endless scream in nature's womb. I have felt no peace here. Oh my Your god. Eye, Stira. There is pain, endless and deep, but also devotion, blazing like the sun. You're in love, are you not? I do love someone. Someone close to me, actually. I think she's... <laughs> I think she's right behind this... This also amazing woman. But, like, that's so funny. She's so... She's so tall. Shadowheart is just completely eclipsed. You are wise to admit it. When it comes to love, vulnerability is armor. Truth, a sword... And trust a shield. I pray you wield all three, Stira. Bring the one you love to me. I will look into your hearts and see if your love is eternal or doomed eternally. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's a dryad. So, what do you say, Shadowheart? It can't hurt, I suppose. Unless you embarrass me. Then you might find yourself hurting in a whole manner of ways. Ooh, don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> Close your eyes, little ones. Be still as stone to earth. And remember to breathe. Ooh, that was creepy. Ah, glorious. Your bond is sweeter than nature's dew. I see you. Know you. But do you know one another? Shadowheart. An endless storm surges behind sharp eyes. Listen. Think. From where does Shadowheart draw comfort on a cold, dark night? Good company and an even better vintage. Well put. Though I'll forgive a middling wine so long as the company makes up the difference. Oh, is she bugged out of the scene? 
She's not even here. That's so rude, game. Your bond beats in pleasure. It is an honor to behold. The heart craves comfort, but needs respect. How does one earn the- I'm gonna see if we can do that again and actually have her, have her loaded in properly. Oh yeah, I did a quick save Close right here. Well, that's nice. Ones. Ah. Listen. Think. Well put. All right, she's here. Though I'll forgive a middling wine so long as the company makes up the difference. Your bond beats in pleasure. It is an honor to behold. The heart craves comfort, but needs respect. How does one earn the dark-haired maiden's respect? Farting on a salunite. What the fuck? Is it shrewd judgment or kind of animals? Not completely off the mark. Yeah. But there's easier paths into my good graces. Do not fear. There is time yet. For our touch has been light. But now we must dig deep. Deeper than any other. Shame sits in the soul of all. To tame it... We must name it. Shadow Heart, what is her deepest shame? Ooh, rough questions. Her hair. I love her hair. She doesn't know who she is or where she belongs. I didn't think a little game would sting so much when I agreed to this. But you're right. You didn't do abysmally, I suppose. That's worth something. <laughs> well, I'll take it. Your bond is seedling. One that needs a gentle hand in its tending. Nurture it, and it will become a great oak in time. Your love is one few have. Cherish it. Cool scene. Go in peace, seedlings. And know that you made one whose heart was long quiet beat with love and you. And you and the test of faithfulness. Stand the test of time. Yeah, that was cool. That was really cool. Ooh, a gin? An elemental. Yeah, he's like a gin. A cobby. Seems like a good moment to talk. Approach! Ugly one! Rude! The hells did you just call me? Ugly! Hideous! Vile! You are fortunate to have found me! Freakish one. Behold! Akabi's wheel of wonders. Spin! To win prizes beyond your tiny imagination. <laughs> and make your miserable life more bearable. This guy sucks. You're, you're an ass. Me and my miserable life are fine. Now we gotta try it. Let us see. If you have luck's favor. I don't. You've seen how good I roll in this game. You notice a glint in Akabi's beard. As it glows, the wheel moves away from the jackpot. He is cheating. Yep. Alas! No jackpot for you, ugly one. 
but you may have this. You're cheating. I saw you rig the wheel. You dare speak to me as if we were equals? You are a scrap of food in my teeth. The dirt beneath my fingernails. You are nothing. No, we're not equals. I'm better than you. I am, however, feeling gracious. So I will forget this and allow you to spin again. Or I can turn you into something vile. Alright, I'm hoping that we'll get to do some kind of check or something to ca either catch him in the cheat or um, turn it to our favor. Alas! No! Jackpot for you, ugly one. But you may have this. Yes! Drown me in coin. And perhaps you shall win the ultimate prize. Alas! No jackpot for you. You are welcome, putrid one. Return again to try anew. Okay, boots of elven kind. There's something we got from that. However, feeling gracious, so I will forget this and allow you to spin again. Do your worst, or you cheating bastard! Behold my fury! <laughs> Win prizes found only in the most exotic of planes. Cheesy smell, critical a uh, cloud of gas, so pungent it prevents creatures within it from taking actions. <laughs> oh, I'm guessing remove curse would have gotten rid of that, or maybe doing enough damage and it pulls you out of polymorph. I don't actually know how polymorph works in that regard. It might be just like a I wild am, shape. However, feeling gracious, so I will forget this and allow you to spin again. All right. Alas, no jack. Bag of molding. All food that is put into this bag immediately grows mold and spoils? I can't wait. I, I can't wait until we find out that everybody at the circus is evil and I get to murder you, Akabi. What level? He's a uh, level eight. Okay. You should mind my step. I need a quick word. Viola Silvertongue, at your service, or I will be, once my set is done. Not now! I must provide musical support for Miss Silvertongue. Popper. Purveyor of treats and trinkets. Mr. Hag, miss her stink. Gross. <laughs> you guys are nasty. Darling, we have a customer. <clears throat> Is your camp drab, dreary, 
Then you have come to the right place. Browse our bespoke Tony and Bony creations. Or commission a statue in your likeness. It is our most sought-after service. Stony and Bony, which are you? Bony, at your service. <laughs> uh, that there is my darling wife, Stony. Good for you, is man. Is she not magnificent? <laughs> <laughs> She's a lot bigger. She's, yes, yes, she absolutely. All right, here we go, Druid. You are both magnificent elemental specimens, truly. <laughs> if mud <my> good blush, <laughs> you druidic types know just what to say. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? All right, Boney and Stony get to survive the slaughter. Actually, I don't think I get that choice, but we'll see. <laughs> Oh, you shall be thrilled and delighted. I know it. I love how I just assume that I'm going to end up having to kill everybody here. <laughs> Scroll of flesh to stone. Hmm. Atrophy of foe, restraining them until they temporarily turn to stone. Hmm. Cool. Okay. I don't need any of this, though. But... Boom. The lonely left boot of elven kind. This is the left boot of the famous magical footwear. Unfortunately useless without its pair. Hmm, we might actually want to keep that. That on the other hand. Alright, you know what? Just in case something comes up with that, Landrous. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> will be most pleased. But I think I will send it to camp. That drow's nose was as crooked as you can. Wait, was he talking about me? Oh, good good talk. Lovely. Okay. All right. Well, at any rate, I think this is where we're going to end this episode. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode, where we will continue to venture through the circus. Bye, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout-out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlada101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Dennis McKinnon, Turkeyfoot27, Pedo Kuto, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.